It's time. Greg Martin joins us, as he always does, out of Brisbane. It's a man's radio show. It is Triple M. They absolutely dominate the market. But uh, you texted me last night, mate, and you said you had an MC gig. How did that go? Yeah, good, mate. They uh, made plenty of dough. So for, I don't know what they were helping, or youth, wayward youth or something. i tell you, there was a funny one. The uh, main prize was a car, Mazda 2. The guy came to the stage. Didn't look that happy for a bloke who just won a car, and I, I unfortunately I asked him. It was a Mazda too, so they're only worth twenty five grand. I said, "Mate, very exciting. Um, what sort of car do you drive now?" And he said, "Porsche." Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marto. You, you, I, I know the last couple of hours you've been running around doing things. What have you been given a list? Have you? No, mate. I'm, I'm still in innovation, so I got to collect after I finish radio on a Friday morning. I got to go and collect everything, and then. Get it loaded up, and I'm about to start work. Okay, all right. Okay, more of that. Well, I, I can tell you it's been hosing down here. The country's just been deluged, mate. We've got floods everywhere, so the climate change is happening again. You know that. I mean, it happens in Brisbane every time there's a rain, doesn't it? Well, they're talking about... Oh, I don't, did they talk about La Nina? The, um, you know, the, yep, yep, oh, we get the that. weather pattern. Oh, no, but they're going third year in a row. It's going to be wet, and it will be wet. But... Um, just in case anyone's thinking about not moving to Australia, it's 27 degrees right. and sunny here today. Okay. okay, just thought I'd drop that in. Yeah, do. Greg Martin with us, Triple M out of Brisbane. They do a man's radio show. So how did the men react to the news that Caelan Ponger and Kurt Mann were having a civil union in the toilet together? I know that, you know, the Pride Week, the rainbow stuff with the NRL, I don't have a problem with two guys coming out. I just wish they'd be honest about it. Well, how do we know until the video, and there's no video, until it comes out, maybe they were having a loving situation, or maybe as uh, Andre Ponger, who I think actually runs the Newcastle Knights now, from what I can gather, um, I think it's an instructional video on the on the absolute essential for all NRL players to go to the toilets together from now on, like girls do, and yeah. that's a good thing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because it seems closer together if you go to the toilet together. And Caelan Pong has got that hair, and you'll know, you remember when we were young, Caelan Pong's got that hair and it could get in his way. I think Kurt was, uh, Kurt Mann was holding the hair out of his face, which is beautiful, mate. You know, a team that stays in a cubicle together wins together. I think that, that's Absolutely. Good. I agree with that. This sounds like the Warriors have already made the eight. I mean, what planet is Andre on? Gee, I know. Mate, it's the same. It's the same as the Newcastle Knights saying last week after a big defeat, we've actually improving a bit. We're quite happy with that performance. Mate, the spin that gets put on things uh, is quite incredible at times by losing teams because they don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Look, I mean, I, I think most of us actually can look with our own eyes and go, you crap, you've won one game in the last 15. Mm. Well, yes, that is true. And, and, and at this stage of the season, people drop... I'm just thinking, though, the All Blacks, why don't they start going to the toilet in pairs? <laughs> it could bring them. Strange situation, but um, somehow, because Caelan Plong can play, and how many times do we see this in sport, the rules don't apply to him. The other guy, Kurt Mann, because he's not all that good, he'll be fined and be in a bit of trouble, but Caelan Plong looks like he'll escape scot-free. So I'll we'll wait until we see the result of their drug test, of course. Well, they, drug testing two weeks after they come out of the toilet means, I mean, that's out of the system. We will bloody know. Anyway... What is Dave Rennie's future at the moment? First test at RG, you were damn good. Second test, you were damn hopeless. There's a familiar tale. Mate, if he loses this next one against the Springboks in Adelaide next weekend, he has the worst record, and that's a fair call for Australian coaches, worst record since uh, rugby went professional in 96. Wow. He's down below 40%. So, mate, we're a 50% team most of the time. We're happy with that. Win one, lose one. But he's starting to really drop. And, you know, one of the problems... He can't get his selections right. I, I can't remember what he was like at the Chiefs, etc. But was he always chop, made the chopping and changing? I know some of it's injuries. But to pick O'Connor last weekend, he wasn't ready. He's, not, he's no longer a test player. We haven't got a 5 eighth in Australia between the age of 24 and 32. Clearly. So I yeah. don't know how we go to the Cup without a fly half. And we don't have a fullback. We've used five fullbacks in the last six tests. We're one year out from the World Cup which is where you're supposed to have done all your messing around in the three years prior and then pick and stick, we still have no idea who's... We, we've got 40 players who could make the Wallabies every weekend, and that's what they're looking like, mate. No combination. 
One week great, one week crap. Hang on, uh, hang on a second. Talk- hang, on, no, hang on a second. I mean, if anyone's moaning about where their rugby is at the moment, it's us. Remember, I mean, you know, we've got we've got the mortgage on moaning. Don't worry about that. Uh, you're Johnny come lately's in the moaning, mate. We've been behaving like you, know, you are at the moment for years, for years. So they won't get rid of him, mate. They've, there's no one else. Right. We haven't got anyone else unless we stick Ray, unless we steal Razor. And I do know. He has said, if, you, if I can live at Noosa, I'll come over, the great surf capital. <laughs> so, we can get him a joint. So, Rennie's safe at the moment, mate. That's the question. And, uh, yeah, we've got no one else. So, oh, it's not looking good. It's pretty bleak, mate. And, and you know how I've gone over the years, going, oh, you know, no one's paying any attention to rugby. That's certainly the case at the moment. It's, it's way down the pecking order. We're moving into the final series for NRL and AFL. And no one gives a stuff. Maybe it'll turn around that first lettuce slow on September 15th. I don't know. But the Wallabies have got to win. Otherwise, no one cares less. And that's where we're at at the moment. Marto, with well, us, Greg Martin, every Friday. Um, okay, so you've got a massive game for the, the Broncos tonight. Um, and that's against the Storm. Because you want to hold on to that fifth or sixth and get at least a home playoff, mate. Do, 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 do people in Brisbane Broncos fans really think that you got a chance this year or not? Yeah, we're not very smart, so yeah, of course we do. We, we, believe, we believe things that we're told, and uh, but, but on face value, we're not quite there. We'll, we'll make the eight. Uh, we won't go much further after the first week, unless something amazing happens. But uh, no, there's not a lot of faith, mate. It, I think we're happy. Brisbane, do you realise Brisbane for uh, 21 years made the eight and a few times won? We haven't won a premiership since 2006. We're no longer the powerhouse. We're now happy to be in the top eight. So well, I'd take that's that. about where our ex- Yeah, I'll tell you, well, every Warriors next- fan does. We'd take that. We'd actually take eight wins a year, mate, at the moment. Jeez, bloody hell. Hey, so when you go to the island um, and, and, and you do your renovations, you work all week, you get up, you do a breakfast show, you get up at 3.21 every morning and then you go, you do all your work on the weekend. At any stage, as Mrs. Mardo say, I'd like some relationship time, Greg. I'd like some quality time, time. You, all you do is work all the time. Nah, well... No, well, she'll sit there with the ginger beer watching me and having a great time. No, we play Scrabble together mm-hmm. uh, when we have a bit of down. If I can get the TV, see, there's so much footy on. If I can, she's happy with this. All right, this is maybe some relationship advice for everyone else. Do something your wife loves with her while looking over her shoulder at the footy. And that's probably the secret to our success. 30 years, mate, it's uh, worked for me. So she hasn't left yet. I don't know why.